Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Mori Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing on GameCube or Animal Crossing Population Growing as you probably know it as and it's finally sunny so we can go ahead and get rid of this. We have had a week full of rain. Rain pretty much every day um, but it is of course the end of the rainy season so today looks like it is the official start of summer. No more rain, thankfully. Um, so, I mean, I love the rain, don't get me wrong, but I have missed the hourly music, which you don't get when it rains, and also just, just some sunny vibes. So, thank you so much for being here today. We're going to jump straight back into this and just see what the day has in store for us. I think what we should do is, yeah, we should check our mail. I did empty the mailbox yesterday, um, just before I saved. I think they're mostly fossils. I don't remember sending this many fossils off though. Um, but I think these are all... F oh no, we've got one from Tom Nook. Oh, one of it's going to be a card, isn't it? One of them's going to be a raffle card. Let's open these up and see what we've got. So we've got an amber. We've got a trilobite. Dinosaur track. These are all gonna be just oh oh yes the lovely lamp. This is the stuff we need to send off to It's me currently Assuming she still needs them We'll send them anyway And let's see here So much mail. It's a good job. I emptied the mailbox yesterday, isn't it? Another museum one A Plessio skull Tom Nook, um, what's this? Do you dread the boredom of your wardrobe? Show off your originality with some one of a kind duds. Our sale begins at 12 p.m. on July 19th. Okay, so we've got a sale day tomorrow. There must be one every month. Yes! Your current design earns 43,762 points. You've really chosen a direction and run, run with it, we see. Now bring it all together, July 18th. So we're, I mean, we're still miles away from a reward from the HRA, but we're getting there. Okay, do we, we don't need these, do we? Uh, so what was it, sale day? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep the sale day one, just so we don't forget. We can get rid of this one. There we go. And this should be the last lovely item that we can send off to our friend, lovely end table and lovely lamp. HRA 42,000, so that is just because we completed the rocks and put a NES game in there, an extra NES game I think. Uh, a special offer on a modern table, that must have been yesterday's. Okay, oh yes, we have to go to find Rizzo. Let's just double check. This is what our house looks like at the moment. We did do a couple of changes. We moved the bed. I don't think that would have changed anything. Um, all we really added... What else did we add? I don't think we added anything. It was just this Nez. And we took away the lantern shrines. But we do now. We have completed the rocks now. Um... Oh, no, we <laughs> didn't want to put the lovely lamp there. We wanted to put the rock there. Garden stone, there we go. Just wanted to move it down a bit. Yeah, this this room is looking so cosy and overgrown, isn't it? Even though there is a toxic waste barrel <laughs> in the corner there. Oh, it might be because of the Gulliver item as well that we decided to put up here. Because uh, Gulliver items do add points, but I, I think, I can't remember if that is feng shui or not, but I still need to check that. But yeah, loving the fact we've collected all the rocks. It's got to be one of the smallest sets where you can get a bonus from. Because normally, if you have a full green set, you'd get a bonus. But that's like 13 items. The rock set, apart from the wallpaper and the carpet, there's only six items. You can just see our sixth rock is hidden there next to Tokyo Tower. But anyway, love this room. So yeah, that's what the house looks like at the moment. We've got uh, tickets everywhere. But anyway, let's go out and enjoy the sunny weather. <gasps> Did you see it? Who saw it? I don't know if we're going to be able to catch up with it. Oh no, I got stuck. Oh, where did it? Oh, there it is. Oh, it flew off. We lost it. We're, ne we're going to have to walk around with our nets. They, we, we're never going to catch one of those. How do you go about catching one of those? Is there a trick to it? Oh, you scared me, little dragonfly. It's not the one we were after. We're after the stripey one. 
But it's big and rare. What do we got here? A green drum. We don't need it though. And we've got a hypno parasol. <laughs> yes, this is our daily thing now. You will like the video. Like this video and subscribe if you haven't. Every time we see this hypno parasol, we're gonna we're gonna do that. That's our new that's our new thing. Right, better clear these up. Right, so what do we think? We're on day possibly day eight now of a perfect town. Should we should be done by now. I can't believe we ended up breaking it. Uh, oh, Tangy, you enjoying the flowers? Hey, wait up a second, where are you going? By gum, I'm making it my business. Sneaking around like that with a wicked little grin on your face. You're up to something, I can just tell. I love the fact that Tangy just like grills us and just ne needs to make it her business. And I'm, I'm actually okay with that. <laughs> uh, I guess you don't like have to, but it sure would be funnier for me. Hey, did you want something or what? What's going on? Oh, it's so hot. Why does it have to be so hot? I'm pretty sure yesterday you were complaining that it was too wet and cold. But it is the, technically the summer, so we might have more of a chance to see that bug now. Um, no, oh no, again, we cannot get a tree to grow in this acre. We're gonna have to replace it. Um, what errand do you have? Everything is perfect, Moriland is a very livable place. I don't think we need this dragonfly. This is just a, a Dana, isn't it? Yeah, we 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 uh, we already have a Dana. Right, let's go to. N oh, I thought I saw another dragonfly for a second, but I think it was just the bubbles. Right, so we're gonna have to replace this sapling. We're running out of tiles. We can't plant it too close to the plaza. I can't imagine. I would love to catch one of those. Stripey uh, dragonflies. I think it's probably one of the hardest bugs to catch because they come flying in so quickly. Oh my goodness, we've got three weeds in this acre. We still had a perfect town, that's good. Right. Right, let's sell what we've got, including the fossils. And the data we don't need. Green drum, fossil, fossil, fossil. Writing desk, and these are what we're gonna say. Oh yeah, we don't need the parasol either. Okay, so we got a shovel. Yes, there's a shovel here today, so we'll be able to plant the golden spot. <gasps> the classic cabinet again. Oh, a cactus is fun, we need that one. Uh, I think we have the eight ball shirt. Oh cool, the, the cube shirt again. Hmm. We definitely have this, but you know what? We could use it in our basement. Uh, we could use that because things are getting out of hand and I kind of like this cactus. That would go so well with the, um, the Sahara Desert, wouldn't it? Do you know what I've never done? I've never made a desert design, like a room with just a desert and the wagon and the fence and maybe a tumbleweed. Right, let's move things around a little bit so we don't get too lost in what we've got. So we've got here a lovely lamp, lovely end table. Gonna keep the blue cabinet. I don't know if we've got space for the cactus. It is kind of cool though. We brought this yesterday, didn't we? I think we have the armchair. We might, we might buy it again. The light polka dot. I don't know if we have this one. <laughs> That's quite inexpensive, so buy it. Give me your money. Just in case we'll get this one as well, because we need to get the the uh, raffle tickets anyway. Uh, right, one more. Seem to have an exotic rug. No. Oh, exotic rug. Oh, that goes with the exotic furniture, but I'm sure we have that one. Goodbye, anyway. 
One day I'll remember to print out a list and tick off what we've already got. Right, I've decided we're not going to go with the cactus because it just doesn't make sense to put it in like a zen garden, does it? Um, we'll keep the blue cabinet though. Okay. I think we can put tickets in it. Because I don't think we can put actual furniture in there, can we? But we can put wallpapers and stuff like that in there. Right, we need to get another sapling as well. We will grow a tree in that plaza acre. We will. We just keep trying until one finally, like, sticks <laughs> and starts growing. Blue Cosmos. Nice. There's no way to get a Nook discount in this game. We're just, we're forever paying full price. Pansy, I'm going to try and remember what we, uh, what flowers we've got here. So, Cosmos, two pansies. Tulip. I love that diary, by the way. Look, it's got a feather on it. Cosmos, two pansies, tulip, and a Cosmos. Whoa, that's one expensive diary. I'm going to buy it, though. Um... Just a catalogue, because I'm pretty sure we didn't have that one with a feather on it. Um, is that everything? Okay, thank you, Nook. Let me know in the comments if you think we should start doing Nook at the end of the episode rather than the beginning. Thought that was a rare butterfly for a second there. Pretty sure we have it though. Um, where is it? Oh yeah, it's up here. Tiger butterfly. I think we've got all the butterflies, otherwise it would be next to this one, wouldn't it? Oh yes, we can put the pear in there, can't we? Let's see. Oh, we can't put gyroids in there. So weird. We need to take another trip to the island at some point. Uh, add an item. We're going to put in the other classroom wall from Wendell. There we go. Made space for our spare ticket. Right, let's see if I can order this correctly. <laughs> Pansy, pansy, tulip, tulip, no, uh, tulip, cosmos, cosmos, okay. Right, let's go and bury this sapling. We will get a tree to grow, one way or another. We need it in this acre somewhere. Oh, there it is, look. No, come back. No, come back here. That was our chance. That was the closest we've ever been. I wonder what it's called. Maybe it's just called the stripy dragonfly. Right, let's maybe, let's try and put one down this side of the... Uh... This side of the plaza. And keep our net on us, because we might run into those now that it's sunny. We've got way more of a chance of finding one of those. We need it to fly straight at us and have like ninja reflexes. I'm kind of looking for it now. Uh, good day to you. Well, aren't we a busy little bee? We're just here to see what's going on. There's nothing important to report today. That's so weird. So that's now two days that we haven't had a visitor. And 
I thought we got one every two days with a perfect town. Right, I'm going to use the tulip over here. to round this off. Actually, no, I want to start putting them more on... The, do you know what? Yeah, we've only got one, so we'll just plant it here to round that off. Um, I want to start doing the slope that we've got the other side of town. But we need more than one tulip to do that. Right, our thing's going to go across here. We'll use the bush as, like, the path, I think. It's coming together. Slowly but surely. As long as you don't move, Ellie. Good morning. Oh, whoops, I guess it's kind of late to be saying that, isn't it? Uh, you know, it's times like these that make me think the whole greeting thing is difficult. So what can I do for you, wee one? Let's chat. Say, Maury, do you like catching and collecting bugs? Well, knowing you, I'm sure you've already caught all the bugs that there are to catch. Uh, no. Yeah, I'll bet. Uh, it's not very easy to catch them all, that's for sure. Insects are scary looking enough to begin with. And that, uh, uh, the way the ladybug moves, hideous! Uh, just thinking about it sends me shivers up my spine. I don't think I'll ever be able to catch even a tiny ladybug. They're so hideous, wee one. Is that, is that you asking us to catch you one? I bet Ellie and Blathers go for coffee, don't they? And, uh, just complain about bugs over their coffee. Right, I was making my way over to the other side of the town to plant these cosmos, but... Getting distracted by... Wanting to bump into one of those stripy dragonflies. No, nope, that's not one. They move so quick and are so big. We'll save the dig spots for later because some of them will be gyroids and we just haven't got the space at the moment. We're going to have to do another trip. Or open up another house. We've re we probably should get around to that, actually. Right, this is where we're going to continue with the tulips tomorrow. Right, so the path comes down here, goes around this rock. It's filling up this area here. Check in on Dozer. Hopefully Dozer hasn't moved. Good, you're still here. Maury, it seems like you normally come talk to me about this time. Hey, no, it's not like I mind or anything. Knock yourself out. So what do you need? Not much. It's a nice day uh, out. Days like this make me wish I were a cloud. It would be so fun to float around and bask in the sunshine all day. Certainly would. Uh, too bad it's impossible. Nothing is impossible, Dozer. Apart from maybe being a cloud. Right, in that case, we should probably head and find Rizzo. But the trouble with that is it's going to make yet another character move. But it will give us a chance to buy more flowers, which we love to do. <gasps> oh, we were so close! No! That is crazy. We were so close. Are you planning on going on a trip, Maury? I'm taking a trip. You must be very excited. Please wait here. I'll just be a moment. The next train should be arriving any minute now. So let's get you ready. Oh, how close was that? It was so close to catching that dragonfly. We will get one today. Maybe. At some point. We will get one over the summer. We'll say that much. Uh, thank you for your patience. Your pre-departure preparations are now complete. And just in time. It looks like the train has just pulled in. 
have to admire our train station, by the way. We've got like met fancy metal railings and quite a modern train station. And then when you see the one in Moriland, it's very different. There's like, I, I want to say 15, but there might even be more than that. Different train stations. Uh, take care, farewell, have a nice trip. Thank you, Porter. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs> we won't be that long. Bye now! <laughs> and we have arrived! See, it's a different train station. It has some, like wooden, uh, like, almost like a picket wooden fence with a rail on top. I actually prefer our own train station. This, this is, looks a little bit weird, this one to me. I like the clock though. The clock looks better than ours. Okay, we have arrived in Moriland. I'm gonna do the usual and raid the dump. I missed a flamingo. Nice. I think Katrina should be here. Might be worth getting a a reading. Right, we need to find Rizzo. Oh, he lives next door to Cube. It's kind of cool that we can always just visit abandoned town. Hey, fancy seeing you here. So it's you after all. I was just thinking of people who lollygag around all day and surprise, here you are. Uh, is that this area your turf? You're gonna try and muscle me around a little bit? Bring it. Oh, right, fine. Sorry to get all puffed up, but I just moved here. Yeah, so what do you want? I know you for you moved here. You forgot this. Here you go. Maybe you could be a little bit nicer to us, yeah? Oh, my picture book. Uh, is this the one I lent to Amelia? I thought about co uh, conta uh, contacting Amelia after I settled in a bit, but I guess I don't have to. Look, I'm not very good at this, but thanks, Maury. So I owe you one. Listen, I'd rather get you something you really want. So how about I just give you 1,081 bells? I mean, that's okay. Yeah, we can take that. Thank you. Is that your hair or is it like... What's going underneath your nose there? What is your design? Hmm. Cube moved to, oh, Cube moved, oh no! He didn't want to talk to us. We're gonna make Cube move to Mori Lane. Hiding behind a gyro, are you? Huh, what's that, huh? Mori? I haven't seen you in a while, huh? Uh, were you lost in thought or something? So what do you need? Let's chat. You know old Maury who lives on Acre B, right? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, well, Maury just sent me a letter. Oh, no. <laughs> Want to take a little peep at it? <laughs> a blank letter. Why did we send you a blank letter? That Maury writes really smart notes, dude. I'm pretty darn impressed. That was literally a blank letter. I think it was... I don't know why we sent a blank letter. We were just doing a test, I think, way back in the day. To see if we can get some fruit from Cube or something. Right. Well, let's head to... Nook's again. Yeah, most episodes seem to revolve around Nook, doesn't it? I guess it's just the center point of the town, isn't it, really? There you go, not a bad price for things we just picked up from the dump. Although part of that was because of the uh, butterfly we caught. Right, what do we got in here? Bonsai, oh, we probably need this. Oh, is this a Mrs. or Mr.? Mrs. Flamingo! I don't think we've seen this. And the lamp as well, oh my goodness, and the, and the wardrobe. Okay, we've got a few things to purchase. Sorry, I need to buy this lamp. A modern lamp. I the modern set was probably my all-time favorite when I first played this. But I do try and do things that we don't normally do now. Oh, that's a unique bonsai actually at the back there. I don't know if I've seen that one. We might recognize the name of it. Oh, we have, yeah, we've seen that a couple of times. 
Right, let's get a couple of cheap things. Let's get this one. Red grid shirt. And then we'll go down, I think, and buy the umbrella. That'll give us another five tickets. We should be all set for the uh, raffle this month. Right, we don't need any of these, do we? Mrs. Flamingo. They're good to have if you have, um, like, garden stuff. shovel to make sure we've got a spare one on us. Oh, we were going to replace our axe as well, but I think we'll do that in our own town uh, tomorrow or something. Yeah, I wish there was a, a better way to get more flowers than travel to other towns. It's a lot of effort to go just to buy five flowers, isn't it? At least in New Leaf, for example, you can steal them from the is the islands you go to. So you can basically have infinite flowers. Alright, we've got a pansy. Pansy. Tulip, tulip. Cosmos. Right, well that's what we came here for. But we could go and get a reading from Katrina if she's here somewhere. What acre is she going to be in? Oh no! We fell in a pitfall! Why is there so many gyroids and stuff around here? I don't know if the luck will affect our, us when we get back to another town. Because the feng shui in this town is obviously not a thing, so like the rare items in trees or well, the items in trees won't be rare, for example. Anyone on the plaza? Nope. Just hunting around for Katrina's tent. She should still be here. She arrived yesterday, but it's, it was at 6pm it should be. Town feels so small. And yet, we can't find Katrina. I think just up this cliff to our right here is normally where they pitch. Not today. Wouldn't mind Mitzi in our town either, to be fair. Was that a dragonfly that we need? Oh, there's Katrina. I think that was the dragonfly we needed. <laughs> Do you wish to give me a reading? Yes, for the meager price of 50 bells. Read my fortune. Then let us begin. Ahem. I'm through. From beyond, a hopping mad soccer player will be horsing around. That kind of makes sense. That You could see that happening in this town. That's what I see. It means some good things may happen, some bad things may happen. 
But don't let the small things bother you. And as always, do what you believe is best. That's what it means, and that's all it means. That is all. I will now take your 50 bells. Okay. Is that... I thought that was cucumber on the side. I think that must just be bells. Okay, so I don't know if that's good luck or bad luck. That might just be average luck. Can we go again? Might as well make the most of it. Yes, change our fortune. Let us begin! On a park bench, a grease-covered pop star will be writing letters. That's what I see. Hmm, I see. Have you been feeling a bit like animals are avoiding you? It is all in your head, or perhaps not. Either way, you are not at fault in this fate. Just keep going on as you always have. It may be better in the long run, allowing you to focus on your goals. That is all. Oh, so the animals are not liking us. Do they actually run away from us? Oh no! <laughs> Look! Mitzi's turning away from us. I think. Oh, maybe not. That was weird. Let's test it on another villager. Oh, they are, they definitely are turning away, I think. And running away. They're definitely running away from us. What is this? <laughs> what, wait, what are they gonna say if we talk to them? Come back here. <laughs> Jeez, you know, I, I don't really have anything for you. No, it's fine. So go away. <gasps> they don't like us. We have, we have, like, interaction bad luck. Mitzi's gotten over it, I think. Good afternoon. I believe this is the first time we've met, isn't it? So your name is Maury, is it? I'm Mitzi. I moved here from Crew. Oh, that was a really old, yeah. Mitzi's running away from us as well. That was a really old memory card we explored. Come back here! Why? This is so weird! Uh, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I wasn't avoiding you on purpose, Maury. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, cutie. From now on, I promise I won't avoid you, so please come talk to me. No. <laughs> That's so weird. I wonder if the villagers in our town are going to avoid us. Just trying to find another villager. I think it only works if we've talked to them. Hey you, you're Mori, right? My name's Chuck, nice to meet you. So now, oh no, Chuck isn't affected. Oh Mori, again, how wonderful for me, jerky. So then, why are you here? Why is it only working on some villagers? Is it certain personalities? Uh, do you always uh, run where you go somewhere? Yeah, pretty much. I thought so. You're always zooming around whenever I see you. But I should warn you, when you're trying to catch a fish or an insect, you've got to move quietly or else they'll scare it. Yeah, but is that true for the giant uh, stripy uh, dragonfly? I don't know. Right, let's go and test this on our villagers. I can't believe they're avoiding us. Katrina put a spell on us. It's her fault. Is there anything we, else we need? No. Uh, that's a shame. It feels like you only just got here. And uh, now I'm going to save data from Mori Land on to memory card slot B. So that's just saving it to the second memory card to say that we've been here. So next time someone logs onto that one, they'll like any changes that we did would obviously be present. Thank you for your patience. Your pre-departure preparations are now complete and just in time. It looks like the train has just pulled in. Thank goodness. Let's get out of here. There's something wrong with the villagers. They're under some kind of spell. Something mystical has happened here. Uh, 
Uh, take care, farewell, have a nice trip. Thank you. Enjoy Moriland. Don't go too close to the other animals, will you? It's a good job Porter talks to us. That's all I can say. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to get the train. Bye now. And we're home. I'll be interested to see if the effects from Katrina in Mori Land will affect us here in Mori Lane. By the way, we need to start wearing an umbre uh, carrying an umbrella anyway, because I just realized the sun is starting to tan us already, I think. Right, let's go and speak to a villager, see if they run away. Are you running away from us? Hey, how's it going? Everything's uh, going smoothly for you? Oh, really? That's music to my ears. Anywho, you probably want something. Okay, at least you're not running away from us, Tank. There's a reason why the weather's so nice, Maury. Uh, what's that? The reason is, it's because I'm the sunshine boy. Don't tell anyone about it, though. Uh, okay. Let's go and see some other villagers, see if they run away. Is Dora going to run away from us? Okay, I don't think our effects affect in this town, because Dora's not running away. But there was definite avoiding tactics there. It's, th that was definitely a thing. I wasn't imagining it, I don't think. Right, so we've got a couple tulips. Let's go and put those on the um, ramp over here. Oh, here's the golden spot. Oh, that's a nice place. <laughs> Might have to lose a tree, though. That's in this acre. So we need to lose one in this police station acre. Uh, not in that bad of position, really. Got quite a clump of trees here. Maybe we could get rid... No, I quite like having a little clump of trees here and there. Let's go and see if that changes the rating. Okay, good. We'll leave it as it is then. An extra tree. Oh no! We weren't ready! They zoom across the screen! I don't know if we can walk around with an umbrella everywhere. We need our net out is the thing. Tulips are coming down here. I think we're going to just keep carry it across over here, aren't we? To join up with that. It's so hard to plan these paths, just making it up as I go along. It's going to come down here, isn't it? There we go. Yeah, we need to walk around with our net. We're just going to have to keep that in there, I think, and keep this out here, because we probably need that at some point. Go and put those in our house, not that we have any space. Doesn't look like we're gonna find... Wait a minute, whose house is this? Portia's house! Did Portia move from Moriland? Whoa, look at your house, Portia. You've done well for yourself. 
Got some expensive chess pieces, some really elegant uh, regal furniture. Uh, you don't have to shout, I'm right here, ruffian, and I have delicate ears, so show a little restraint. Pardon? Your name is what? Maury? You simply must be joking. Uh, what a sad Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it, or at least I didn't mean for you to hear it. My name is Portia. Isn't it a fabulous name? Don't tell me. I know. It's been nice meeting you, ruffian. Nice meeting you too, even if you are a little bit abrupt. Oh, we can't get on the chair. Nice. Expensive umbrella as well, I think. It goes quite well with this. Um, the patterns on the umbrella almost look the same as that, like the patterns and the handles on the, uh, the regal stuff. Okay, not sure about how I feel about you living right here. I'm glad you didn't get rid of our tree. It's right on the corner of your house. But I'm not sure Sandy is going to be happy that you moved in right in front of her house. Oh, she is happy, okay. Right, I, let's see if we can drop these in our house. Yeah, I wish there was better storage. It's, it's getting silly just dumping tickets everywhere. We've got literally no room in our basement whatsoever. <laughs> Maybe we're going to have to just line the walls with wardrobes. Um, yeah, I mean once actually we can just dump them outside once the perfect town situation is uh, out of the way Oh, we missed it get back here It knows oh, I think it's down a level now And, oh no, it's back again. <gasps> How did I not catch it? Come fly over here. <laughs> Is it stuck on the building? If we go round, it's gonna move, isn't it? Yep, it's gone. Dora, hey, do you need any jobs while we're here? You know, it's times like these that make me think the whole greeting thing is difficult. So you must have had some reason for coming to see me. Let me help you. Let me think for a sec. Oh, I've got it. A while back, I lent my Pokemon Pikachu to Portia. You know who that is, right? Yeah, we just met. Uh, the thing is, I need to get it back, but I'm pretty sure Portia forgot about it. Can you get it back for me? Yeah, she might not be so happy. But we can definitely try. Oh, who did we lose? Ellie, Rolf, Tabby, Hugh, Dozer, Olivia. Oh no, Amelia moved! That means we're gonna have to fix our fences. By the by, did you need something? I'm picking up Pokemon Pikachu. Oh, I guess I do recall borrowing someone's Pokemon Pikachu. You've only been here a day. <laughs> oh, but I lent that to Hopper quite a long time ago. Lies. Sorry, Mori, you have to go and see if Hopper has it. Okay. What a liar. Who would have thought? Sandy, beware of uh, Porty. Don't lend her anything. I'm glad you didn't move. What the hey? Oh, it's just you. Yeah, we're picking up a Pokemon Pikachu. Actually, Mori, Ellie took the Pokemon Pikachu just the other day. I've never seen anyone uh, desperate to have something. And with all that begging, I couldn't say no. Sorry to pass the buck here, but you're going to have to go and get it from Ellie. Oh. I only just noticed how square this... Uh, Cliff is here. <laughs> Random. Tank charging at Dora. Oh, 
If it isn't Mori again, how nice we won. So you must have some reason. Yeah, we're coming to pick up. Ta-da! Here it is. The Pokemon Pikachu. Take good care of it. And tell Dora, thanks so much for letting me borrow it. Oh, yeah. I forgot it was uh, going to Dora and not Portia. Portia was the, the one who had it originally. Oh, if it isn't Mori again, how nice! So tell me, Mori, what did you want? Here's your Pokemon Pikachu. Wow, you actually got my Pokemon Pikachu back! I'm so glad I asked you to do this for me, Squeaky. I'm just going to give you 1,000... Why is everyone giving us bells for? Not that I'm complaining, but... Especially over 1,000 bells. Nice. Right. Let's head up to Nooks, because I need to send off these items... To it's me, Carly. And then we should be done. I think. We might buy a signboard, actually. Because um, now that Amelia's moved, which I'm kind of sad about, actually, I quite liked Amelia. Um, the, the fence is going to be broken. Unless they. Unless, unless she put them back when she moved, which I doubt. Because they didn't go to the police station or anything, they just were deleted. Same as the flowers, actually, when a. Like a tent is pitched. Uh, right. Oh yes, we need to check the turnip prices as well. Ooh, today I'm buying turnips of 100 bells. These are gonna skyrocket on Saturday, I think. Right, here code. So we've got it the right way around this time. So we're gonna send them off to Ivy Grove. Hopefully it doesn't matter if it's capitalized or not. If you don't get them, please let me know. <laughs> uh, Carly. There we go. You want to send this to Carly and Ivy Grove? Yes, that's correct, I think. I'm doing it from memory, so I hope that's right. And we're going to send off the lovely end table. Now let me make sure I've got this right. You want the password so Carly and Ivy Grove can pick up this lovely end table. That's right. There's the password. Last time I did this, my uh, recording stuff crashed. And I didn't write the passwords down. And I lost the footage. Right, let's do the second one. Um, I wish we could go same destination again. Well, that's quite a nice name to write in, actually, Ivy Grove. Because all the letters are pretty close together. Uh, you want me to send this Car uh, Carly in Ivy Grove? In case you're wondering, if you haven't seen me do this before, um, Car uh, she's called Carly because of the, the character limit. And we'll send off... Oh, it's nice to know that we can't do the golden shovel either. It's weird how it restricts some items. I think there is a password for every single item in the game, though. And there we go, another password. I don't know if a future Animal Crossing game will ever have this password system again, but it is so cool. Right, before we wrap things up, I'm just going to go and check on the fence that Amelia has probably abandoned. Oh, I thought that was the, the dragonfly for a second. We might have to do a dragonfly hunt tomorrow. They're mocking us. Yeah, here we go. It's uh, Amelia took down our fence and then didn't replace it. But now, Sherry's got a big garden all to herself. But we'll fix this tomorrow. Um, also, let me know if this fence design is still okay or if maybe you could change the background color. I can't tell if the background color is green or brown. So please let me know. Um, but yeah, there we go. I think that's a good place to wrap it up. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it was a distraction for you or a comfort for you or just something to help you pass the time. Whatever the reason is you watch, I hope. Um, it fulfilled that reason. Of course, a huge shout out to the channel members as well that make this all possible. I couldn't do it without you. Um, you're super special and I appreciate you so, so much. So thank you for being there. Thank you for supporting the channel. And 
uh, just being so generous. Um, thank you so much. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.